Welcome back to episode number three. Jay Happ will be making a start against Sonny Gray and the Yankees. Starting lineup, Travis, Pilar, Donaldson, Smoke, Tulowitzki, Martin, Grichik, Morales, and Granderson rounding off the hits. Hopefully it's going to be a good game. Uh, but, 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 there's not too many changes on the Yankees side either. Last year's statistics... Half made 25 starts, 10, 10 and 11 record, 3.96 ERA, 145 hits allowed, whip 1.31, 46 walks, 142 strikeouts. Not too shabby. I believe Didi, Didi Gregorius is now batting second instead of, I think, third last from game either one or two. Wasn't able to catch the zone, apparently, according to the ump. A little bit of contact here and there. A pop-up right at the mound. Gregorius, he, he played very well against us the first two games, I would say. Have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, pitching around the corners. Don't give him too much area to hit from. But we'll see what happens here. He's going to fight it off, probably. Oh, he doesn't. Let's see who else we got here. Bam. He tried to go for it. So if he's in swing mode, attack mode, we can just pretty much pitch around the zone and not give him too much space to operate. You never want the uh, hitter to get too comfortable. She has a foul ball. Try to uh, fight it off. Swing and a miss. Sonny Gray, 27 starts last year, 10 and 12 record, ERA of 4.38, 139 hits allowed, 57 walks allowed, 153 strikeouts, so a bit higher than J Hap. He is right handed though, so we'll have to see. So far, Devin Travis hitting three for nine in this season and series, obviously. He's going to open up with a slider. I'm not sure if it's by mistake or if it's a setup. We'll have to see. Um, he does go for the inside fastball. So he's attacking the inside part of the zone. We can still stay patient, I think. It's important for the leadoff man to at least try to grind out some pitches uh, if it's not a perfect scenario I suppose no it might be a double play yeah JD he's hitting two for nine so he's not having the best of starts especially when there's no nobody on base uh after four pitches that's gonna be a problem a very very big problem here so I might have to work the count a little bit unless it's a uh, Pitch in the wheelhouse or somewhere around the middle zone. No, that's not very good. Time to, I missed time that slider. Yeah. And I just point blank missed, I suppose. I, I thought it was going to be a fastball. They're shifting more to the left. Um, well, that was not good. All right, we got one man on base. Uh, a man on first, one out. 0-2 count, and we're gonna strike him with the slider. And unfortunately, Jay has pulled up lane, fall in that last play, and is clutching his hamstring. Oh, it might be a grade one or a grade two injury. I don't know how he injured his hamstring like that, but things got from bad to worse. Uh, we're not having the best start in this game already, but we're gonna bring in Danny Barnes, 
three oh record, played sixty games, mostly in a relief role, three point five five ERA, sixty two strikeouts in sixty six innings. Ronald Torres Torres Torres. Let's just say Torres. Um try to force him to not score really. It's gonna be a lot harder than I expected. Just because the Yankees do have a, quite a plethora of um, power hitters on their lineup. So I'm pitching a bit more carefully, just around the corners. Although it is a 3 0 count now, so. And unfortunately, we do walk them, so that's first and second bases loaded. And DD Gregorius is still a very, very great contact hitter. He can definitely hit it out of the park as well, but. Power has diminished just a little bit, in my opinion, over the last two, three years. Still a very, very good um, player. Oh, we're not going to get there in time. Yeah, we don't. And they're probably going to score two runs from this. Yeah. Yeah. They do score two runs, unfortunately. It's a two RBI double. For Gregorius. Although they still have two outs, we're not really capitalizing on it. And I was not able to warm up Danny Barnes previously, so that might not be a good idea either. So he's coming in cold. Slider. He's going to take a strike two. Um, but his confidence is shot already. And that's never a good thing. Go for the slider again. He's out. Now we're going to move on to the top of the fourth. Barnes has settled in a little bit here, able to hit the corners for the zone. Oh, he's going to launch one. That's out. Just when I say he, uh, you know, settled in a little bit, he allows a home run. Luckily, it was a solo home run, I suppose, to Aaron Judge. Who else? Cover boy. 40.6 degrees launch angle. That's, that's a crazy... Hit, I mean. Let's see what Justin Smoke can do. Haven't had too much success against Gray. Overshift to the right. He's got five pitches to choose from, and typically I always struggle against five pitch uh, throwers here, so. I'm trying to be a bit more patient. 12-6 um, curveball also gives me trouble. Sliders give me trouble, typically. Oh, my goodness. That's like a failed check swing, and uh, he's not even able to pick up the ball. And that's a base hit. Tulowitzki had a single early on the second inning. Let's see if we can avoid the double play here. Yeah, 12-6 curveball is going to cause a lot of problems. Change-ups I'm okay with, I guess. Still attacking the inside part of the zone. And his pitch count is still fairly, fairly healthy, so we have to try to at least work the count a little bit here. Okay, well, found a gap in uh, right center field here. Unfortunately, smoke speed is at 8, so he's not able to get home. All right. Let's see if we can bring these guys home. I'm gonna launch it out to the right field. He's probably gonna catch it. We're gonna try to go home anyways with eight speed. Yeah, he's in. So at least we score one run on the sack fly. Pitch count is very bad already for Barnes. Uh, he's gonna hit it right at Tulowitzki here, and he should be out. Oh, never mind. Did he drop it? Yeah, he dropped the ball. Never mind. <laughs> a wild slider there. Uh, best case scenario, we got a double play. Worst case scenario, either base hit or even a far base hit. 
to score the run here. You're going to chase the slider outside the zone. And that's what we've been successful doing so far. Now it's a base hit. He's going to go probably third. Or maybe not. He holds back. Okay. So man on second and... Uh, first and second, excuse me. We're going to bring in Aaron Loop. Try to change things up a little bit here. Two strikeouts in two innings. 1-0 and record. Hopefully we can get a double play here. Inside cutter. He doesn't bite. Change up here. Mm, okay. He's not really in attack mode, but we can try to bait him. That's out of bounds. Mm, let's see. Outside changeup does freeze him. Stands up next. Okay, just missed the zone there. Only one out. Again, misses it with the inside sinker. Okay. Yeah, he's going to launch a big one. Is he going to tag? Yeah, he's going to tag. Is he going to get there in time? Yeah, we're not. We're not getting there in time. <clears throat> we got the corners, but we get one out. An additional out. A second out. So two outs. Men on the corners. Just catches the zone. That was close. We don't want to be down... 2-0. and oh. Nope. He's not chasing it. He is not chasing it. He does swing at the changeup, though. Probably expecting a sinker. He's going to have contact. Hopefully we can get out of this jam because uh, down two runs is still winnable. Uh, he does chase the outside sinker. And it's, uh, that's done. Top of the eighth now. Oh, I just missed it. Okay. All right. Loop is getting tired. Yes, I know. After 25 pitches. He's a relief pitcher. Jeez. Inside changeup. Hopefully we can get through this. Uh, okay. Lost it right to the right field. I want to get past at least this hitter. Because we do have to play them for a fourth game. And uh, we don't want to completely hamstring ourselves in terms of bullpen strength. Inside slider is going to try to go for it. Okay. And that's a foul ball, luckily. Nope. Yeah, we got him this time. Alright, let's see if we can push through this entire sequence here we're going to push through the eighth inning without using another pitcher we've already used hap strike number two we've already used danny barnes now loop and then we might have to bring on a closer Ooh, just squeezes by smoke here he's not going to get there that is a base hit Uh, I don't know. Should I risk another pitcher? Probably not. We're good. We good. Bottom of the eighth. One out. Two zero. Smoke's gonna loft it right at shallow center field. Smoke is still at first base. We can't really do anything about it right now, though. Um, he's going to go for the... 
really low cutter. I thought about it. I'm gonna go high cutter this time, right on top of the zone. We're not gonna jump on it just yet. The knuckle curve and the, and the circle change up really throwing me off right now, though. Yeah. I'm actually a bit confused. And that's a walk. We'll take it. We're going to pinch run. Um, using Teoscar Hernandez. He's not super fast, but he's the fastest option we have right now. Grichik, one for three. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if we can get a base hit here, Hernandez will be moved to the third, hopefully. Outside cutter, we chased it just a little bit early, and I missed the ball anyways, so that's okay. Take our time a little bit. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing that. This team's just way too slow. I can't, uh, can't go crazy. Base stealing is very, very, very rare. Right. Okay, center right field again. That's far enough. We can just probably score at least one run, maybe even two, actually. Nope. Just the one. Too slow. Morales, one for three. He did hit a single. Uh, he did hit a single in the second. Uh, third, I meant, sorry. Second or third, I don't know. It's been a long day, guys. What can I say? Whew. Base hit? Nope. Circle change up. The knuckle curve really throws me off. Cutters throw me off sometimes, depending on what it was, uh, what was pitched previously. Nope, knuckle curve. His confidence is dropping, which is a good sign for me. He's not going to be pinpoint accurate. Ooh, we sliced it on the other side. Oh, we're going all the way. Oh, never mind. We'll just score a tying run. Um, 60 speed's too slow. We're going to bring on Steve Pierce for Morales as a pinch runner as well, just in case we do get a, uh, a base hit. And he's DHing anyways, so it doesn't matter. Another base hit would give us the lead. However, Granderson is hitting 0 for 3 against them, so... I don't have my hopes up too high right now. Mm. That was a wasted opportunity. I didn't even know what I was hitting. Again, the cutter threw me off a little bit. Okay. I don't understand why he got zero confidence, though. He's played fairly well. Oh, I shouldn't have chased. Might have been a 3-2, actually. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, sorry, I meant, uh, yeah, he's first base. Morales was first base. I keep mixing the two with between him and Smoke. That is okay. Osuna, of course, trying to close things out here in the 10th inning. Uh, overtime, essentially. Going up 3-0 would be amazing. He's going to chase a slurve and he's out. Okay. Confidence is maxed out, but his energy is only halfway through. Swing at the slurve again. Slurves are extremely hard to read. Like, if there's a slurve pitcher, I wouldn't be able to hit for anything. He's able to make contact. Bare hand. Can he make it? He just gets there in time. Didi Gregorius won for four today. 
right down the middle slurp. I tried, man. I tried. He's going to go for it. Top left. All right, he's able to bat battle it off. Um... Still fighting. My pitch count's getting way too high, though. For a closer. We finally got him. Teoscar Hernandez. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen here. He's going to loft the ball to right field. He got 70 speed. He's going to get there in time. All right, Hernandez at, on second now with a double. Okay, it's pretty much a, pretty much a sack fly, you could say. Uh, moving him to third now. However, we do get an out, the first out. Russell Martin here. One base hit would be sufficient to win the game. Oh, he dies it and it's over. He just misses it and that is the game winner. Able to scrap away with a vict another victory. Um, Osuna gets the win. Judge is their man. Oh, well, Tulowitz got two doubles, so he probably should be the man of the match or player of the game, if you will. Okay, we got some goodies. And that is it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.